so if you are preparing for NEET MDS exam you are definitely going to purchase dental pearls right or dentist or Neeraj Vadwan or any other MCQ book but what happen is you have no idea how to read it or even if you read it it is not effective because to clear the exam you have to at least do the revision four five five times right there are three volume the dental pulse how are you going to revise it there's probably around 10 to twenty thousand you know the questions how are you going to revise it you need a plan you need a guide about it so today i'm going to tell you how to effectively prepare your dental pulse and as i tell you if you follow this step in the last two months you are not going to pan it you'll you will be able to do four or five revision with your dental pulse i show you that how do we start it so there are two scenario right either you are doing the self-study self-preparation or you are joining any coaching institute which is better how do you approach both of them? I'll tell you the cons and pros. Okay, I'll discuss them in another video. But for now, let's just assume you are either doing the self study or doing the coaching. So, you first we need to have a plan for it. Very first step is we need a plan. How do we are going to plan our schedule? How to make your schedule? I will discuss this also in another class because for the coaching people who are attending the coaching, they have the schedule. They are going to follow whatever their instructors tell them to do. But what happen if you are doing this self study? For those people, I'll specifically make the schedule how to approach it, right? So first you have the schedule. So with your schedule, you decide your subject. You decided your subject, right? So at this point, there are two scenarios. First is some people want to do the notes first, want to do the notes or any text or any literature and after that they want to approach the MCQ, correct. But there are another kind of people like me, this is what I, this I recommend to everyone, especially those who are doing the self-study, I recommend this approach. First do the MCQ, then make or read your notes. I'll tell you how and I'll tell you why. Because you have... 23 subjects you cannot make notes of all of them from your standard books and you can't assume yourself to read everything right it's it's very huge for you to do so first thing is we are assuming you are aware and of your subjects so first thing is you open your subject and what to do you read the first question right for example in this scenario your first question is most common side effect of oral administration of ampicillin right you read the question you read the uh, options then what you do at this phase you have four kind of scenario and what could happen after you read your question so either you have no idea this is going to be most common with all of you you have no idea about question or answer or option right or you answered the question but there is no idea of the concept you don't know the concept behind it and problem with each kind of question is if they do the word play you are going to fail in the question you you won't be able to answer it you have to deal with it right third thing is you know the answer and you know the concept okay and fourth scenario is it's too easy it is like you can answer it blindly you can answer it you know the entire concept and you are damn confident you won't forget it even if you have Alzheimer right there's some question like that like how, how many kernel nerves are there like for example they ask you how many 
cranial nerves are there you know that right is just 12 pairs right or they ask you how many number of eyes one person have you know it's two you don't need to understand the concept it's just like stupid questions so basically these are you can say stupid questions for you right so what do you do for every question you are going to mark right if the, you have no idea about the question you will mark it as question mark right and if you know the answer you will mark it as tick are you sorry you mark it as star okay so you will mark it as star and you know the answer you know the concept you will mark it as tick and if you you absolutely know the answer if you absolutely know the concept you're confident about it you find it stupid you will mark it as cross then what do you do now at this page whatever your front page is you can do the extra exercise you can just write here question mark you can write your star you can write your tick you can write your cross okay so what do you do you read your question you just like you have no idea about the question you will mark your star you know what something about this you mark your stick some question are going to be take some question just know you you don't read about it you can even just put up like if some questions are way too stupid for you just cross mark or you can just put a cross in the next to it and here i'll suggest you if you have the habit like for this question the answer is septomycin or for the question the answer is diarrhea you are not supposed to do this not supposed to do this do not mark your answer in your dental pulse what happen if you are going to do the revision again you are going to fail you are going you like you know the answer is right there there is no point in doing it again so you do this right doesn't matter how many questions you know doesn't matter how many answers you know you are just blankly blankly sitting in the paper right and what you do after this it's going to be a little bit of hard work for every chapter you just write there are seven unknown questions there are three questions with star we i know but i have no idea of the concept there are five questions with i absolutely know there are two questions which are stupid right this is your first revision okay you read it with this you read your questions you read the explanation right and now you go for the second question you read the explanation right so what you have to do in your first reading in your first reading what you are going to do you are going to read your question right you are going to mark it either star take or cross then what you are going to do you are going to read your explanation right and sometimes you can even mark it or note down it correct now what you do after this after doing the first reading you will go and make your notes or if you already made it if you already purchased the notes or you have the notes you will read them right now this scenario is what are the advantages of this method you have a graph that how you can say how confident or how good you are in certain topic right you know your topic is good or bad for this respective subject second idea is you have a report card right for example you are sitting in your exam right for the 3 hours there is one question you are absolutely no idea you will get to know can you blindly answer to it because you are not going to remember everything those things which are fixed in your muscle memory you are only going to answer to them only or you have the grasp of the concept you are going to very first thing you are doing here is you are 
attempting questions for the first time basically you are preparing your mind for surprise question see everybody can do all the questions they know where people fail is where people get panic where people you know get disturbed is surprise question you are preparing for them you are preparing yourself how to tackle those surprise questions after doing the first reading you made your notes now at this point you know what is important in your notes right you for the pharma you are reading either the kd tripathi or goodman gilman or lipin code what are the important points there you have no idea right you are doing the self study or you are in the coaching you are you know that what are the important values you have to write important numbers you have to write important drugs symptoms right side effects whatever you have the idea that in the exam they used to ask these kind of question they are used to ask these kind of doubt then only you will make your notes more detailed plus more concise you are not going to write non important information in notes and more detailed more concise your notes are easier will be the revision that's the main fundamental you are doing the self study you are no idea see for the people who are doing the coaching they have notes the coaching provide them with notes they are doing their the main hard work for for the people who are doing the self study you are stuck how are you are going to make the notes this will help you make the notes they'll tell you how what are the important topics right now what you do at this point after your revision you are going to do the second attempt in second attempt you are going to do the same part you are going to read your questions and at this phase only you are going to write in your second in your second reading there are three question marks there they are four stars now they are eight tick marks now they are three stupid question or there one stupid question sometimes you will just you able to visualize that those answers you you assume that you have the concept now you have you come to know that now the concept was wrong or incomplete right you are just going to note down again right now you have the defined answer and in the second reading you you check that how many star how many question mark become star how many stars become tick how many tick become stars or how many ticks become cross mark you have your live report card you have your live update at this point you know that which are important topics which are not important topics right after doing this to you are you have done your two revision okay basically two attempt you have your notes now you have your detailed values right at this point you are going to refer standard books and you know what to read and the most important part of this method is most important benefit is what note to read this is important this is where people fail to understand don't write 
book from a book this is what i tell all of my students please stop writing books from a books in form of notes there no point in it if you are filling uh, if you have one register for your one subject you are doing it wrong okay you are doing it wrong please make as simple as possible don't build up 10 registers to prepare for your need and yes you are not going to revise all of them you are just going to look at your 10 register and you are going to fill the module please follow this if you are no idea what to do and if you have different method if you have different approach let me know in the comments thank you very much we will meet again